What's up everybody? Welcome and welcome back to the channel. This is your boy B and your girl Susie. And today, guys, we got a good one for you guys today, man. You know, we've been married for a little bit and um we've learned a lot. So we want to share with you a little bit, you know, uh, things that if we had to do it all over again, things that we, you know will change or we'll do it different. Right. But before we get into the video, guys, if you're new here, consider subscribing to our channel. Our channel is about travel. We do lifestyle videos and we explore in the kitchen with different recipes. Oh, we cook. So please subscribe and like the video, share with your friends and definitely say hello in the comment section below. We love to chat with you guys. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, without much ado, let's get it. Okay. Guys, the first thing on the list is family introductions. Well, yeah, um, I would have done it, you know, like different. Um, my family is far, far, far in Ghana, La La Land, and, <laughs> right, right, guys. <laughs> and uh, we got married uh, before um, I took her to to go and and see my my family. Um, yeah, know, I met them on video. I oh, yeah. met them in person. We we did a lot of video calls, a lot of chats, a lot of, you know, she talked a lot with my dad um, before, you know, we got married. But I would have, from what I know now, I would have done it, you know, different. I would have taken her to Ghana, introduced her to the family, you know, and then when, before we... we we do the wedding and I think it would have been nice also if we were able to get uh, one of your family members to come here for the specifically for, for the, the wedding. wedding yeah but we we thought of it late and yeah, yeah. you know you know the logistics yeah so that's and, one thing that yeah. um, in getting them I will, I will I will change I'll do the, I'll do it different yeah yeah next next item on the list is the actual wedding no let's maybe before the actual wedding mm -hmm. let's do the the premarital counseling with the pastor from it, church you know that um was very help uh what's that called helpful yeah but i i would have extended mm -hmm. i would have uh done you know extended counseling yeah, I can't remember how I mean, long it was. I felt it was it was short. It was short really as well. short. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that would have been nice. It was like uh, I don't know, like uh, uh, once a week for like six weeks. Yeah, something right? like that. Yeah. yeah. So and maybe an hour, an hour and a half, um, a session. So it was um, it was nice. Uh, we learned a lot from it, uh, but. I, I would have I would have you know do extended uh, marriage counseling yeah yeah uh, that's that's one thing that I will change too mm -hmm. yeah exactly yeah. Uh, the next item on our list is the actual wedding yo <laughs> <laughs> the actual wedding guys we had uh, we prepared for how many people 170 uh i think initially it was less than that initially it was less than that but we the number just kept going up. growing up growing yeah. up yeah i think i would have preferred now i would prefer a small wedding like uh, for me even a like a little 
They do court weddings here or no? Yeah, and then we do a nice, you know, reception and that 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 will be it. You know, mm -hmm. we'll rather spend the money um somewhere else uh, important, like, you know, buy a house, you know, invest somewhere. Mm -hmm. Um I would rather um do that. I would, that's one thing I'll change too. But we had a good wedding. It was nice and a lot of people enjoy it, so yeah. <laughs> okay so guys the next point is roles and responsibilities mm -hmm. as a couple as a married couple and i feel like it's easy for people to fall into the traditional role of you're the husband i'm the wife you work and i take care of the home what do you think well um for for us i think we both work right mm -hmm. and um we have defined it differently like mm -hmm. whoever gets home first start cooking or if there's something that you know need to be clean start doing it mm -hmm. um so we're still kind of um learning or Very trying true. to define roles i'll say more um as we learn each other mm -hmm. like yeah i agree yeah we're slowly learning about each other more learning which is why we feel premarital counseling should have should extended have even further after we got married, married yeah. just as a guide you know like when people first get married you don't know anything about marriage Yo. right so it would be nice if there's that guide that helps you get yourself set up for success as a new couple. Couple, yeah. And I feel like roles and responsibilities fall into that category of, you know, if if you don't define those roles and kind of share the responsibility like yeah. right from the beginning, then things kind of get out of hand and some marriages fall into trouble and stuff like that. Yeah, and I right? think a lot of marriages fall into trouble because of uh the because of the counseling part of it right right, right. They, they, they don't they don't do it and marriage is like apprenticeship like is it yeah charlie you learn as you grow together you learn yeah, yeah. it's not it doesn't it end do the learning yeah. doesn't end guys it's not like uh you have a baby today and you're the best mother in the world or you have a baby today and you're the best father in the world it comes gradually you learn as you go but right? mm -hmm. you know it it uh, yeah. by the time you have a second one you've had that experience, experience you right yeah so, so yeah you, you have to make your mistakes and and, and, learn and from grow them. from it yeah. yeah so exactly yeah what else <laughs> This is a good topic for you, eh? Hey. <laughs> okay, so I think our next one is um, finances. You know, like when you get married, your money is my money. My mm -hmm. money is your money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I believe that. You know, when, 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 you know, two people come together as one, everything, you know, should be in the pot. Or everything should be on the table, right? Mm -hmm. um, but finances, yeah. Like I, I came with a big baggage, you know, financial baggage. financial baggage. Yeah. Right. So. So you gotta be open about that. Yeah. You know, when you get into a relationship or when you marry somebody, you gotta be open about your financial baggage or yeah. or, or whatever situation Chin, you have. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You know. So. Yeah that brings about um dialoguing like communication mm -hmm. you know talking more mm -hmm. and and you know elaborating on those those issues mm -hmm. financing is very very important it can make marriage. or break your marriage for big real. time yeah yo big yeah. time there's so, no i don't believe in uh your money is our money and my money is my money i don't believe in that i feel like we both work we are a team so the money should be for the team mm -hmm. whether it's 
my income or yours it should be and for the team and it doesn't matter whose income is bigger mm -hmm. or who's who makes them more money yeah you know it doesn't matter mm -hmm. yeah uh, as far as you know you guys will sit down and plan mm -hmm. and and like we this is one of the stuff that we would talk about a lot before yeah. getting married yeah that's for sure yeah yeah so if we have to change something i think that finance our finances is is something that we will you know spend more time on planning uh, better planning better like and talking the about. things that we know now about finances mm -hmm. had we known those things way back then oh life we will be been, yeah, yeah yeah definitely so uh being open about finances being open about your credit mm -hmm. as well right yeah. um it's definitely something that i think for us we did we did talk about most of these things it's just we did not go into depth. like deep yeah. deep detail like we didn't things that we know now like i said we didn't know them then yeah though we were talking about our finances we were not planning properly you we, we were younger so we were planning for fun mm -hmm. right so that's another thing that we would do over is you know be more serious about our finances and yeah. get some financial advice and all that because yeah, yeah. We, we were both working so uh, yeah like you know. you know get somebody you know uh from the bank or um some financial advisor to you know mm -hmm. help you guys and and walk you through it and i think from the beginning if you do that and you have that knowledge you put it in practice mm -hmm. and uh by the time you guys clock you know and let me tell you something money in marriage is pretty important mm -hmm. very important it yeah. can make or break that marriage yeah right mm -hmm. so if everybody knows where whatever is going or everything is going mm -hmm. i think it's kind of uh, i'll say the transparency right mm -hmm. it, it's kind of uh yeah pull you guys you know together and mm -hmm. yeah yeah so yeah mm -hmm. okay Okay, that was a good topic. Yeah, I that think. was a good one. Yeah. Um, so the last and final one is having the balance between um, us being the couple, the married couple, and individual, like oh, personal yeah. goals. Personal goals, yeah. You know, uh, it, it's really hard when you come into a relationship, most times the women always put their goals on hold to either you know start a family or just kind of uh assist yeah. or help the husband in a sense because in the bible the wife is the helper right yeah. so most women come into the relationship thinking i gotta put me on hold and make sure that my family is good yeah yeah but i think for us that's not what happen like no yeah we we came in and we want to do we want to do things together so i think what happened is uh you drop your goals mm -hmm. i dropped my goals mm -hmm. and then we start a new thing yeah right yeah so new things that like we we don't know we don't know much about mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and if we had you know uh sat down talk about my goals talk about your goals and see uh what i can help you with and what you can help me with mm -hmm. i think we will grow like that together and then we'll find our common goal and then common things that we can also do mm -hmm. right yes yeah uh, uh, and by the time we realize we are merging everything yes yeah but we didn't do that we we kind dropped, of dropped everything. Our personal goals. Yeah, and then started, started new goals. That married, couple. but individually. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what I would change differently is, um, we will both uh, have our goals mm -hmm. individually, and then we we'll see what I can help you with mm -hmm. to achieve your goal, and what you can help me with to achieve my goal, mm -hmm. and then uh, see what we can put together you know as a and couple. as a couple mm -hmm. they run away with mm -hmm. so i think that's how i would do things differently. Yeah. yeah that's good 
That'll be a good balance, I think. Yeah, that'll be really, really good balance. Yeah. All right, you guys, so we're going to summarize the tips that we've shared with you guys. It's tips, but it's also things that we would uh, do over if we yeah. had the opportunity to do over. Uh, the first one was the family introductions. You know, it would have been nicer to meet the family in person before we got married. Mm -hmm. um, and then number two, the pre-marital counseling. Yeah. Yes, we guys. Done more. Yes, and Even extend after, that yeah. to after as well. The third item was the small, smaller wedding, and you know, we had. It wasn't a huge wedding, but it was okay. Mm -hmm. So, we would have preferred, like right now, knowing what we know financially, it would have been great to have a smaller wedding. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Four would have been the is the responsibilities roles and responsibilities. Yes, guys. We are a team. Mm -hmm. We do things for us. Yeah, we do things different. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Number five is financial advice. If we uh, had known what we know now about finances, we would have planned better. We would have sat down and you know created some goals that will help us succeed mm -hmm. and then uh, number six uh, was the balance between family like as a couple and, and also personal goals, goals. Yeah. so yeah uh, I hope you really enjoyed this video guys yep 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 we'll bring you more videos about what we have learned mm -hmm. in our marriage so far <laughs> guys please don't forget to subscribe share and give us a thumbs up if you like this video mm -hmm. and that will you know encourage us to bring you more of these videos mm -hmm. until next time y'all peace Good. hey let me go take this makeup off joe we have another <laughs> video to shoot <laughs>